Well, this week I visit one of Connecticut's most unique schools. I spent some time at the Sound School set on New Haven's Historic Harbor. It's this week's What's Right with School segment. Okay, are we ready? It's one of the few high schools in Connecticut. Stand by your lines, please. Where a life jacket is part of the uniform. The Sound School, found right on the southwestern tip of New Haven. When the bell rings, we walk outside. I've been stationed one on the starboard side also, Bob. Educator Ned Flanagan remembers when the school was just a vision. I can remember when the architects came here way back 30 years ago, and they'd be showing us sketches of what it's going to look like. And I'd say, you're crazy. You know, kids out sailing, we're going to be underway, we're going to have a schooner, we're going to have a fishing boat, and here we are. Now it's cast its net. As a premier aquaculture, agriculture, science, and technology education center. This high school is nothing like any other any other place. And every other high school, Brantford High School, you're inside all day sitting in a chair. I'm here, I'm learning with my hands, like I'm enjoying what I'm doing. Training on real equipment, big and small. I never went sailing before I did sailing all my freshman year. And operating a 40-ton US Coast Guard certified vessel to harvesting oysters. Preparing students for college and careers through experience. No one else gets to do this in high school and how rare it is for this opportunity. Opportunity that's giving junior Julia Rosario a head start on her next step. I'm thinking about a marine biologist, more specifically a geneticist. I really just like the work that they do. Charting the course for so many students. My future wouldn't be shaped like it is if I didn't come here. At Connecticut's School by the Water. In New Haven, Scott McDonald, News 8.